In this video we will learn how to run a user form without displaying the Excel window. First, we need to write the code on workbook open event so that when workbook will be opened then all the codes will get fired automatically. So, go to this workbook and select workbook. The workbook underscore open event is added by default, and it acts upon the opening of the workbook. Let's write application.visible equals false to hide the Excel application. Then show only the user form using the show method. Now let's move on to user form 1. By default, the close button unloads the user form. This poses a problem if you want to display the Excel application and close the form. But we can hijack control of the button to achieve the desired result. Access the event procedures by double clicking the user form. The drop down menu on the right then gives you access to the list of available events. The user form has an event called query close. Using this event, we can cancel the unload action, then hide the user form. So, let's write application.visible equals true to display the Excel application. Next, put the unload me statement. Unload me closes your form and deletes everything associated with it from memory. Save and close the Excel file. Now let's open the folder where our Excel file is located. Then double click to run this file. Here you can notice that Excel asks to enable the macro. So to fix this, let's go to the Developer tab, then click on Macro Security in the Codes group. This opens the Trust Center window. Then click on Trusted Locations. In Trusted Location, you can add a folder and Excel will treat all files available in that folder as trustworthy and safe to run. So, let's click on the Add New Location button and add the path of the folder where we have kept the macro file. Let's close Excel. Then run the file again. Here you can see that only user form is displayed and Excel is only running in the background. 